Good morning, Quad Copter 101. And before we get started, let's get today's shout out out of the way. Today's shout out goes to Tamoris654. Tamoris654 was first to say first in one of my recent videos and thus wins this shout out. So congratulations. Good morning, Quad Copter 101 here. And what I got for you today is a review of another little whoop. This is the LDA, LDARC Tiny GT7. Now the Tiny GT7, as you can see on the box, is available as PMP with no receiver. You provide your own. RX2A for, uh, that's FlySky protocol. And DSM2, that's uh, Spectrum protocol. And AC900, this is both Futaba, uh, receiver for both Futaba and also FreeSky protocol. So um, this can be flown by quite a few different uh, receivers or transmitters. Now let's open it up and see what you get in the box. You get a nice carrying case box. You get the drone. I'm going to take that out. First off, you get one battery. And the battery is a 380 7.4 volt battery. And underneath, we get uh, spare parts, including props. Uh, it looks like a, a cable to connect to your computer. And uh, this looks like a charging cable to connect if, if you want to connect to a, uh, what do you call that? Um, B6 type of charger. You can do that with this cable here, I believe. And uh, that's the problem with, let me show you real quick why, why you need that adapter. Okay, there's an adapter that you get with this and it's important to note it. I, I should bring it up. Um, if you plug it in like so, your battery, you can plug this into the balance lead of your B6 charger and this into the charging lead of your B6 charger. So in effect, this enables you to charge this particular ba this battery since this doesn't have a main power lead with a, a B6 style charger. Okay, so, you know, B6 and all of its clones that are already out there these days. That's pretty cool that they give you that. I like that. Um, and you get instructions and lots and lots of decals. I only used a few of the decals on mine, but you get instructions for the drone and also for its video transmitter and its receivers. The different receiver version is available with it. Now let's go over the uh, drone. It is 75 millimeter. It has an 800 TVL camera on the front here. Um, the thing about the camera though is it's only pointed up 10 degrees and that's its maximum point. So I believe this is intended mainly for indoor flying, slow indoor flying. Although we're going to fly it outdoors, see how fast we can get it to go. Now, its video transmitter is only 16 channel, 25 milliwatt video transmitter, so you're not going to be flying very far with this. But again, it's meant for indoor flying. Now, the also the transmitter also has a built-in OSD on-screen display. Now, I haven't been able to figure out how to adjust that on-screen display, and you can't use Betaflight to adjust that on-screen display. You know, it's a proprietary on-screen display system in here. Um, the uh, flight control board, seriously pro racing F3 flight control board loaded up with beta flight with 3.4.1, dated 2 August 2018, so fairly recent. Now it has brushless motors right there, and those are XT0803 9000 KV motors on this air, our aircraft. It also has 10 amp 4 in 1 BL Heli ESC. Now this can only be flown with 2S batteries only, and only flown through <laughs> with the uh, balance plug that we got here okay and that's kind of unusual that they got a balance plug but well, what can you do <laughs> so <laughs> um, again we get a 7.4 volt uh, 380 milliamp hour uh, battery with this to power it and that's about it folks so let's plug it in fly it and see how it performs so hope you enjoy this flight okay uh, the way i have this set up in beta flight is this is disarmed center switch is nothing also disarmed Switch all the way down is armed. We have uh, angle, we have headless mode I have set up, and all the way down I have it set to acro. So let's arm it. Now notice the motor's arm on startup right now, the way, you know, I, you could change that in beta flight if you wish, but I have it set up the way it comes out of the box. And take it in the air, bringing it up. Let's try it, it's punch. Not super punchy, but it has some, some punch, bring it up close. I'm not gonna fly this one too much like this because I wanna go right into acro. I only got this one battery with this. But there it is, flying it up like so. Now let's take it right into acro flying since that's the main purpose of this aircraft is to fly in acro mode. So let's do that. Okay, we're flying with my FXT goggles and my T8SG V2 Plus uh, jumper 
uh, transmitter. And uh, how do you like my shirt today, folks, by the way? Okay, <laughs> selecting arm and going to acro, acro, and flying in acro. Let's see how it works. I'm going to start out slow, get a feel for it. Voltage is 3.77 volts. Let's go down this way, Let's go around the pole. Let's see if we can go around the pole. Going up. And okay, it doesn't like to do rolls too much. It doesn't have a lot of oomph. Let's try it again this way. Okay, there we go. Uh, one thing I noticed is its camera. Its camera gets very dark uh, outdoors. I guess, again, this is mainly meant for indoor flying, especially if you see the sun. <laughs> it gets dark. So let's, let's try to go as high speed as we can here with this camera. That's about it, folks. Because that camera tilt limits. Oh, I crashed. Hold on, my, hold on, my love. Let me see if I can get back in the air again. Uh, acro, arming, take it to the air. Yeah, you can. Okay, so I didn't need to do, my wife didn't need to do the walk of shame, they call it. <laughs> By the way, this does have uh, turtle mode if you want. I don't use turtle mode, folks, because I'm outdoors, and if I get a caught in uh, the grass and hit turbo mo or turnover mode or turtle mode, I don't like the idea of turtle mode, to tell you the truth, period. Because if you jam up one of your propellers and you hit that thing, and you can overheat your ESCs and your motors. Okay, this is somewhat slow <laughs> of an aircraft. But again, it is meant for, I'm gonna slow it down here. We're gonna show you what it's meant for. Going to, going to angle mode. We are in angle now. Oh, you know what? I don't think I was an acro. I'm an acro now. Let's see if that helps. I was in horizon mode there, but still, it's just, not a zippy flyer but again not probably not meant to be it's meant for going through trees in acro <laughs> like that or going under your table in your house and that i guess it could do it and i'm doing this in acro folks so you know it's not not too bad Let's see if i can go through those trees go around that go around that and you know its pids are nicely tuned for doing this type of flying, even in acro, and um, it's it's not too aggressive to feel, so you can make mistakes and still get out of it. And I'm getting a long flight time out of it. That's another good thing about this drone. I can see right now is the flight time. I'm doing this in acro, and it's not hard. And I'm still got a lot of voltage on it, 3.4 volt, four volts. A lot of flight time left on this thing. So, yeah, not too too shabby. Um, I don't know about it as an outdoor flyer, though. I'll tell you that right now. It's, it's outdoor capability. I don't know. <laughs> but indoors, yeah. I'm, okay, I'm saying battery's low now. I'm going to listen to that warning. We're going to land it. And my famous landings. Okay, disarm. <laughs> so, okay, I'm stopping recording here. And I will take that hat for my wife. Thank you, my love. Mm -hmm. So, what do I think of the GT7? Well, it's not a speed demon, but it's not meant to be. Um, it is meant to be an indoor flyer. You can fly even acro indoors. Um, and I can say that with confidence that you probably could be able to fly this easily with acro indoors because I was flying between the skinny trees out here. That's hard to do for me <laughs> in acro, but this thing did it very easily. You know, you can make mistakes and still still get out of them. Um, what else about it? Uh, even with the brushless motors and 2S battery, it really didn't have a lot of oomph. Okay, a lot of punch. So this is not a freestyle drone. This is more of a learn-to-fly acro drone and i think this would be an excellent learn to fly acro drone to tell you the truth um it's well protected you, you know to make your mistakes it seems um this plastic is kind of tough i think it could take impact very well and survive most impacts so again this would be an excellent in my opinion learn to fly 
Acro drone. So, hope you enjoyed this flight, this Quadcopter 101 with the uh, GT7 from LDARC. Signing out. Hi, Quadcopter 101 here again. Hey, if you want to get your own shout out in one of my future videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's real simple. Just go to my channel page and click on that subscribe. And also make sure to click that bell button right next to the subscribe button. That way you get notified when I release a brand new video immediately and give you a chance to get that first shout out. So give it a try, folks.